Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And if you have not subscribed already, please kindly do so by hitting that bell icon for notifications. And without much further ado, let's great let's get straight into it. I'm getting tongue tied already. Right. So Eddie Hearn came out with an interview where he had some interesting words to say regarding Tyson Fury's last outing and quality, general quality of opponents since he has returned, come back out of retirement and returned to the fold. Now without much further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's see what Eddie had to say. I just, like I said earlier, you get a lot of stick and sometimes you look at the product that you're producing, i.e. Joshua Ruiz and everything that went underneath it, and then you look at that as a pay-per-view event, and I think, fuck me, you do get away scot-free, because I would have got hung if I put that on. Can you imagine, after that fight, hung! Um, but I think um, Top Rank did a good job for Fury. I think he's a brilliant entertainer. I think he's absolutely hilarious. I think he's a very good fighter. Just want to see him in proper fights, that's all. And you're not... <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a very entertaining brilliant fighter I just want to see him in competitive fights that's all is that an unreasonable request is that an unreasonable request just want to see him in proper fights I think we all want to see him in proper fights his comeback He's had two cherries, fair enough. I'll give him a pass for that. They fought the Deontay Wilder, the Bronze Bomber. Where is he? I think he's around here somewhere. The Bronze Bomber, there he is. Fought the Bronze Bomber. That was a good fight. That was a very highly entertaining fight. Highly entertaining fight. But it needs to be that caliber. There is no real need for Tyson Fury to be check cherry picking at this stage although I do recognize the value of a good cherry I do recognize that but he's got to stay if he wants to be considered top a top ranked fighter then he has to stay fighting with the top ranked guys don't get me wrong, after looking at the resume, analyzing the resume of both Fury and Wilder, I can totally see the benefit of a cherry. You've got to pick a cherry or two. I can totally understand the benefit of the occasional cherry. Tastes nice, I'm sure. But in the main, you have got to stay. Predominantly fighting top opponents. Yes, there is benefit in a nice cherry. But if you ever want to get back to the top, you got to fight the top guys. Pure and simple. A little cherry every now and then. Sure, why not? Shorts was a cherry. Shorts was a cherry. But who next? I hope you're not thinking about taking another cherry, Fury. No, that will be wholly unacceptable. You got to get back in there with the big boys. You got to get back in there with the heavy hitters. Yeah, it'll shave some years off your fighting life. But as you profess, as you profess to be a top guy, you got to mix it with the top guys. No ifs, no buts, no maybe. No more cherries for a while. 
Let's go. No more cherries for a while. These guys out there waiting. These guys out there waiting for fury. I mean, Wilder. These guys out there waiting for you. Don't be like this guy over here. Who won't take on his number one ranked opponent. Go and grab yourself a belt. Grab yourself a belt. Forget about the Intercontinental WBO belt you just won. Get yourself a title belt. Grab yourself a title belt and defend it. Don't be like this guy. I'm running away from this guy. Let's go. Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'm out.